Hi, beloved, beloved. This is Ava's beloved stopping by to say hi. I just want to think of my love forever to my Ava Yahweh, um, God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And I just want to thank him for his beloveds around the world. I just want to thank you, Abba, for a mighty wind ministry. Truly, truly, you have them here for a time such as this. And I thank you as a testimony of your love. I thank you, Father, for them and for using them mightily and for letting them be in my life. And I just praise you, Abba Yahweh, for touching them and blessing them this day. For truly, they have blessed me. And I truly want to be a blessing back upon the tens of millions that will be touched by this ministry through you, of course, Yahushua. And I just praise you and I thank you, Father, for them, for touching beloved Elizabeth Elijah and her beloved Nico and all the ministry team. Thank you, Father, for everything you have done in and through them. Thank you, Father, for anointing them to walk in their callings in you. For it's truly not by any of our own might nor by our own power, by your spirit that we can do anything. And just thank you for anointing them and using them more and more. And all your beloveds are making videos and spreading the good news of salvation to the, the lost sheep and lambs. I just praise you and we thank you, Father, for touching them and um, opening their eyes and help them to taste and see that this tr ministry truly is good. It is of you. And um, I thank you for the abundance of fruit. Thank you for your prophecies. Thank you for your blessed word. Thank you, Father, for speaking through a beloved Eliza, Elizabeth Elijah. Um, she's like a mom to me, my mentor, my sister, my friend. Thank you, Abba Yahweh, for her and for anointing her so much. And um, I just watched Trust Ya 777's video, um, uh, Heaven or Hell. And I thank you for using Mom RM again through that and for um, helping her to, to speak that word. It was just totally awesome that poem and um, truly uh, I I know exactly I, I have a testimony just so similar to that and it really happened and it's just totally amazing and um, and all through the words that Yahweh was giving me to write down after I watched it the very first time I just kept hearing tell them tell them for me and it's just like prophecy 13 which I just love tell them tell them for me the same name and um, I just want to share real quick. The call to repentance is so real. I just opened up to Luke chapter 13, part, uh, verse 3. I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. And so please repent, beloveds. If, you're, if you haven't already, if you're not living a holy, righteous life, tomorrow may be too late. Please, don't wait. Don't wait. Time is so short. And you are so loved. And um, I just want to thank you, Abiyah. They didn't let that the enemy take my life that early morning when I was driving and I got into a car wreck. I was 19. I was living in sin, though I would confess I was a Christian. I would try to go to church. I would read the Bible a little bit here and there. But I was backslidden. I didn't know. Of course, I thought once saved, always saved, like a lot of people do. And um, I was so wrong. You know, I didn't smoke or did do drugs or anything. But I wasn't living a holy, set-apart life unto him. It wasn't totally pleasing unto him. You know, there's no more time for lukewarmness. This is real. And, um, you know, if you're lukewarm, it says in the word, he'll, you know, spew you out of his mouth. I mean, who wants that? Not me. So no more sitting on the fence. Um, truly, this is what happened. I was driving along and um, minding my own business. It was a clear summer morning. I was getting ready to turn around this bend, and a car, old car, come barreling down the hill. And I couldn't swerve to the right because there was a guardrail there. It was on a bridge, and there was a, a river below. But I tried to swerve to the left into the oncoming lane of the oncoming traffic, and the car was in my lane by then, so I just, I just barely missed a head-on collision. Whew. And I praise Yah, I walked away totally with no scratches whatsoever, no bruises, no nothing. And that was a miracle of an, in of itself. And I just praise you and I thank you, Abiyah, for saving me as undeserving as I am. And I was. And um, I remember pulling over and I was very shaken up. The car was totaled. The car was totaled. 
and the car hit the guardrail, and I thought it was going to go into the river. Praise yeah, it stopped it. Um, must have been a strong guardrail. Anyway, um, that was a, that was a wake up call. And a young fellow come running out of his car, come up to me, and asked me if I was okay. Then of course the ambulance came, the tow trucks came, and um, all I, I remember handing him a dime. And I'm like, please, please, can you just call my parents, tell them to come and get me? And uh, it was just, it was very humbling. Very humbling, and he did. And yeah, that's showing my age a little. was a dime back then. But praise ya, I just look older than I am. Anyhow, thank you, Abba, for that. Um, it was just totally awesome that ya spared me. And I mean, how many close calls have you had? I mean, I've had so many. And. But I didn't know to live a holy or set apart life. I didn't know to honor the Ten Commandments. You know, I didn't know to also honor his holy feast days and that those were real. And the whole Bible is real. It's all one. It's like Yahushua. He's him and um, Messiah, Ruach uh, Kadesh, Holy Spirit. They're all one. And I just praise you and I thank you, Abba Yahweh, for sparing me and for letting me be here also for a time such as this. Thank you, Father, for touching your beloveds who may watch this film and the call to repentance. And I just thank you for um, the brand new Prophecy 119. Thank you that you're giving your you're giving everybody a chance to repent, Abba Yahweh. Your mercy is truly endure forever. And I know time is so short, so please, please repent today. Tomorrow may be too late. And if I didn't care, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, so please taste and see that the Almighty Ministry is real. It is true, and um, it is truly a refiner of metals, and it is not the last chance ministry for nothing. So if you're not right with God Almighty, then I suggest you get right because time is short, and I just want to thank all the YDS around the world for their prayers and their love and uh, for doing all that you've been called to do and for doing it quickly for truly it is totally awesome and uh, as we all prepare for uh, Yahushua's coming return and it's just like Hosanna Hosanna blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahweh come Yahushua come quickly we love you we need you we cry out to you daily we pray that we're worthy enough to be a part of your bride. And thanks for touching all the YDS around the world that we don't know their names, but they're praying for us as we are praying for them. And I cannot wait to behold them with you, Yahushua. I just praise you and I thank you again for all that you've done and all that you're going to do in and through your beloveds around the world. And in Yeshem Sheikh's name, and of course that's Jesus Christ's Hebrew name. And... Um, I just want to, I'm just so grateful for everything. There's so much to be grateful for. Every day you wake up is a gift. That's why they call it the present. So stay in the words, stay in the prophecies, beloveds. You have a question, um, don't be, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I just praise you and we thank you, Abba Yah, for touching everybody who watches this video again. Thank you for everything. I just praise you, we thank you, we love you, we need you all the day long. For truly, it's not by our own might, nor by our power, by your spirit, Abba Yahweh, that we can do anything. We just praise you. We thank you. We love you. Abba's beloved, signing off for now. Be blessed. Bye. Psalm 34. Yahweh is our provider and deliverer. Um, verse 4. I sought Yahweh, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces will never be ashamed. Verse 6. This poor man cried, and Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. The angel of Yahweh encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. 8. I love this. Oh, taste and see that Yahweh is good. How blessed is a man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear, Yahweh, you his saints, for to those who fear him there is no want. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they who seek Yahweh shall not be in want of any good thing.
Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of Yahweh. 15. The eyes of Yahweh are toward the righteous, and his ears appeal to their cry. The face of Yahweh is against the evil doers to cut off the memory of them from the earth. I just want to share this uh, part really quick. A uh, quick word to all the naysayers and all those who are falling for the enemy's lies. Please tell me, in a mighty wind, what right do you have to speak such evil against Yahweh God Almighty's anointed end-time prophet Elizabeth Elijah? Tell us. Is she someone you personally know in which to speak such horrible things against? I, personally, I have been blessed to have known her personally for several years, and I am so blessed to be a part of this exciting end-time ministry, and it's this awesome worldwide church. Believe me, I am honored and blessed to belong to it. And I truly don't believe that any real born-again, Holy Spirit-filled believer and follower whom is taught or saying they're walking obedient with Jesus Christ, whom I call Yahushua HaMashiach, could harm or speak evil of this humble woman of Yahweh God or this holy set-apart ministry because the Holy Spirit would convict them even harshly if need be. Shame on you, all you who are doing these horrible things. Don't you know Yahushua listens to every single word you speak? And you will be held accountable and punished for this if you don't quickly repent. Redeem the damage you have done. Truly, Yahweh is keeping track, and he is not happy. Did you know that when you insult our anointed pastor, you insult everyone that is blessed by the Almighty Wind and Almighty Wind Ministries? Enemies of Yahweh God Almighty, or a mighty wind, you evil doers of iniquity, I rebuke you in the name of Yeshua Mashiach for calling Elizabeth Elijah a cult leader and similar things or names. <clears throat> I rebuke you for even similar accusations of any kind. When you speak these lies, you also insult all who are members of this worldwide congregation that has been going strong some 16 years. This ain't no fly-by-night thing. Truly, none of us belong to a cult, and a mighty wind is not that. Yahweh God will judge you for this. Don't you fear the judgment of Yahushua? What's wrong with you people? It is written, Behold, today is the day of salvation, as no one is guaranteed a tomorrow. What happens if you were to die tonight with your unrepented heart and sin? Where do you honestly believe you would go? Hell was made for the devil and his angels, and I'm sure you don't want to go there. No one does, and I'm sure it is very real. Did you see the Citizen in Hell video? Well, I truly, I, I pray you could change and repent if it is not too late. And I pray that you do. Lastly, did you do anything whatsoever to apologize yet and make up for the damage done to my spiritual mom, mentor, pastor, and dear friend, Elizabeth Elijah? What are you waiting for? Because a mighty wind ministries does care, Yahushua cares, and I care, or I wouldn't be saying this. Do check out the salvation prayer if you haven't already seen it. It's a it's the link attached to the video description. Please pray and do not harden your hearts any more. And please do write us after you put on your true repentant heart and, and pray that prayer and, and repent before Yahweh God and all of heaven and before us. Thanks in advance. And I just want to close with this um yeah had me open up again to um Luke thirteen, that call to repentance. Um, and it was uh, verse 3, I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Verse 24, strive to enter through the narrow door, for many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Once the head of the house gets up and shuts the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock on the door, saying, Lord, open up to us, then he will answer and say to you, I do not know where you are from. 26. 
Then you will begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. And he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of Yahweh God, but yourselves being thrown out. Is it worth it? I don't think so. Signing off, this is Abba's Beloved.